Hey YouTube, how's it going today? This is Captain Energy of Captain Energy Music. Today I'd like to give you a little Cubase tip. I was in a Cubase hangout the other day and one of the guys who I was talking to in there had mentioned that he was having a tough time using Reason with Cubase. Now, at first I thought all you've got to do is drag it in there and it shows up as an instrument, but what he was trying to do wasn't just use the instruments or just use the plugins. He was trying to use Reason to control Cubase. Now, that might sound crazy, but it's actually really cool because what it lets you do is it lets you utilize the players in Reason to control instruments in Cubase. It adds a whole new level of complexity and possibilities to your Cubase productions. So what I'm gonna show you right now is how to set that up. It's really easy. Also, I did find a video that did show how to do this a little more in depth, but they weren't using Cubase, they were using Ableton. I will link to that video below in the notes so that you can check it out. It's done by Ryan from Reason Studios. So it's a pretty good video and it does show all the different ways you can use Reason um, in Ableton or uh, also I believe in Logic. I can't remember all the uh, DAWs that they used to demonstrate in that video, but anyway, let's get to it. So first what you want to do is go over to your project. It could be a project you're already working on. It doesn't matter. Because we're trying to get uh, Reason to control Cubase, I'm going to add Reason first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Add an Instrument, okay? And then from the instrument list here, I'm going to select Reason. There's the Reason Rack plugin. That's what I want. So I'll add that. I'm going to click Add. This will take a moment because this application, it's doing a lot of checking and it's, it's kind of slow to start. So I'm just going to fast forward a little bit so that we don't have to waste a bunch of time. All right, there it is. So first, we don't want an actual instrument because that would just be just an instrument. But we're looking for a player, something to control Cubase's instruments. So I'll go down here to add other device. I'm going to click add other device. And now you have a list of, of options. First, we have instruments, effects, utilities, and players. In this case, I'm just going to grab the note echo player. Okay. I'm going to players, note echo. What this does is it kind of does a, a simulated strum, we'll say, uh, with uh, another instrument. Now we have a player but it's not able to play anything yet because there are no instruments attached to it. So how do we get another instrument in here for reason to control? It's actually pretty easy. We just add another instrument, okay, which will show this menu, add a track, select your instrument, pick Halion SE, and now I hit add track. We'll get the little loading window there, a little loading circle, there we go. All right, and now we've got Halion loaded. Let's get an instrument in here so we can make sure that it's actually working and everything's good. So uh, it doesn't really matter what instrument, I'll just pick uh, this guy right here. Okay, and now I just wanna be sure that it's actually playing, so I'm gonna get some keys. Uh, I think I want something to actually, I'm gonna pick a different instrument because that one's a little too, uh, uh, airy and going to be hard to notice that uh, it's being played the way I'm trying to demonstrate here. All right. All right. So now we've got a guitar. All right. Perfect. All right. So next thing, what we want to do, go to Halion and on the side, you'll see these inputs right here. It'll say all MIDI inputs. Well, we want to change that to be reason rack plugin okay now in this case since it's the first one we can grab this if there was more than one reason rack plugin you'd have to take that into consideration be sure you have the right one um, but I'm just gonna pick that one for now and uh, and that's it but why don't we have any sound yet if I press play I should be able to click the reason plugin here press play and then the player should play the guitar but it's not what's missing is that for some reason you need to enable monitoring on the instrument you want to hear. I'm not quite sure why that is, but it's 
also the same thing in every other DAW. It's just a different way of doing it. And I think this is maybe the confusing part. But uh, once I enable that and I play the player up top, I get this nice strumming sound. And uh, you can go and I, mean, I can prove that that's what's causing it by going right here and changing this up to something else and being... Yeah, that's it. And that's how you set up a player to control an instrument in Cubase. The instruments can be anything. Now I'm going to show you a couple other little tips here that weren't really uh, self-explanatory in my mind. But uh, once you actually record with this, you're recording on the player lane. So the instrumentation, well, the instrument never actually gets any notes. It's always the player playing to the instrument. So it's kind of like you've thrown a third person or a second person here in between you and your instrument. And uh, that's fine, that's well and good, uh, but it may not be what you're looking for uh, in the long run because maybe you want to hand this off to somebody who doesn't have reason. Uh, Maybe, you know, you want to be able to export this MIDI to some other device. And uh, that's not really possible if the music is, is coming from a player. Uh, but there is a way to do that. What you've got to do, first, what I'll do is I'm going to record a couple notes on the Reason Rack plugin track. Let's start. I'll do one right now. Ready? Now, in order to get that to record in a way that can be played on Halion without having a reason, I can hit record while I'm on the SE, the Halion SE, as mentioned before, and reason is now playing that instrument. And once it's played, I'm stopping it now, once it's played down to the instrument, the notes become actual MIDI, as you can see right here, which you can uh, do whatever you want with at that point. At this point, I can hit the, grab these all and hit quantize, and I can, uh, maybe I want to change, do some chord inversions or whatever to make it sound a little more interesting. Um, the, uh, anything is possible at this point, because now I've got these notes here. You know, so. And that's basically it. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Captain Energy. I really appreciate you checking out my video. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, click the thumbs down button. But let me know what you didn't like about it so I can try and fix future videos to meet your needs better. If you have any questions about the videos, leave them in the comments below and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you'd like to see future videos, click subscribe and the alerts button and you'll be informed when my next videos drop. I've got a whole bunch of new videos coming very soon, so please stay in touch. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a great day and go make some music.